guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you should definitely subscribe. I upload every other day college lifestyle Disney because I'm doing the Disney college program in seven days till I leave, which is so exciting. But I also film videos about Liberty University because that's where I go to school. So today's gonna be a video all about Liberty University. And I ask on Instagram what you guys wanna see and like kind of the content that you want me to make this year, like specific videos you want me to make this year. Literally every time I post something about that, I get a request to film a which dorm should I stay in as a freshman video. I guess it just, obviously that's something that you would wanna know, that's something that if you go to Liberty and go on a tour or go to college for a weekend, most of the tour guides, they may tell you that any dorm would be good for freshmen. They kind of just promote all of the dorms, but I feel like it would be good to have an informational video of all the things about all of the dorms at Liberty just to have a lot of insight on where you should be staying freshman year because that's a big decision and I want to help you as much as I can. It's just my personal opinion and this is just what I feel like would be best for if you are a freshman going to Liberty. I'm going to be going from worst to best out of all the eight dorms at Liberty. So I am doing the commons separately. So there's the residential commons and a lot of people think that they're all the same, but they're not really, and so I'm. that's dividing commons one and two and three up into three parts. Eight dorms at Liberty are, let me see if I can remember all of them. So there is commons one, two, and three, the circle, the quads, south tower, east, and the hill. So this is my opinion from my experience and from my friend's experience and also just my personal opinion about what I feel like would be best as an incoming freshman at Liberty. So let's get into the dorms. So I'm gonna be talking about three things and there's three, I guess, aspects of every dorm that I'm gonna be talking about that, that kind of creates my opinion of them and like why I feel like they'd be good or not good for freshmen. So I'm gonna be talking about price, location and community. Those are the three things. And community at Liberty is a very, very big deal. A lot of people say that the community at Liberty is something that they've never seen before in their life. And that's my my experience with Liberty. I've literally never seen anything like the community at Liberty. And freshman year is the year that kind of builds that community. The community is a big deal, even though some people may not think that it's a big deal and think that it's kind of the same everywhere. Sometimes it's not, and I'll get into why in this video. I have my laptop that give you the exact data for every single thing that I talk about in this video. So that's why if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my computer. The worst, in my opinion, out of the eight, so I guess this is my eighth choice for freshmen living at Liberty, is East Campus. So East Campus is one of the two apartment style dorms it has a living room in the middle and like a kitchen area and stuff it is the one dorm or I think there's two dorms that have a kitchen in them so that's a perk of that but it has a living room and a kitchen and it has that's just in like the common area of the quad and then you have three rooms one of them is three to a room and two of them are two to a room so east is if you live in a three person room it's 2900 and if you live in a two person room that's 3300 East is one of the most expensive places to live on campus. Obviously you have apartment style and that's really nice. So as far as pricing, it's one of the most expensive dorms on campus. Location, it's one of the most isolated, if not the most isolated dorm on campus. So that's why I think that contributes one to the community not being as good. This is also like excluding athletes from the situation because I know a lot of athletes live at East and it works out really well for them because they live with their teammates. But East is a good place to live if you have a solid friend group already formed or if you just have a few friends that you want to move in with like in a room at East, it would be a good option. I really, really, and I feel really strong about this, I do not think that freshmen should live on East for many reasons. One of the reasons is get really isolated whenever you're on East. You're not near any of the other residential buildings. You're not on a hall, so really all you have is the people in your quad and it's not easy to make other friends. From what I've heard from people, so I've told people this before and I actually didn't know for a fact. I just like assumed that it wouldn't be good, but this year I can think of three examples. I told like a bunch of freshmen asked me where they should live freshman year. And I told them not East and three of them decided to live on East anyways. Two of them moved to Commons that semester. And then the third one that I've talked to is moving next semester. And I think that this is just like a common theme that I see a lot of times with people on East. It's very isolated. There's not very good community unless you're a little bit older or you have a really good friend group already and you don't really need that community that much. And that's the thing about East is that the majority of people that are going to East aren't freshmen. I'd say the majority are either athletes 
or there are people that already have established friend groups that just want to be in like kind of an apartment style together and so for that reason since there's not that many freshmen there's not that many people trying to make friends it just ends up being a bad situation if you are a freshman so that is number eight on my list for those reasons so the next one on my list is the hill and people are gonna fight me on this because they always fight me on this but I lived in the hill first semester freshman year and then I moved off second semester freshman year my experience with the hill is that it was not good community there was never really any liveliness on my hall how the hill works is it's separated by buildings so you have a girl building and a guy building so technically the dorm across from you is your brother dorm and there's no common area indoors and girls can't go in guys buildings guys can't go in girls buildings so if you wanted to hang out with the boys you have to go outside and if it was raining or the weather's bad or it was cold you really didn't have anywhere to hang out with them so the community I, in my experience wasn't very good if you ask anybody that was there like three four years ago that was like the main dorm for where community is and so a lot that's why a lot of times people end up moving there their freshman year because they've heard really good things about it from like their older siblings or just people that have been there before it really is one of the worst places for community on my hall alone there was probably like 15 girls that moved off first semester to another dorm including myself I did second semester and then when Whenever I did move to Commons, a lot of people that I talked to that had also moved to a different dorm like throughout the semester, and I was like, oh, where are you coming from? And they all said the hill. So that was just even my experience. That's just talking about the community. I would be at Commons hanging out with my friends that lived at Commons one last year, and that we would be all having a good time. We Everybody would be in the common area. The, hip, the halls would be like really lively, and I'd be having so much fun. But then I'd have to come back to my dorm before curfew, and then whenever I came back to my dorm, it was like dead, and there was nobody outside, and nobody in the dorms and even during the day at any time that you would go in there there would only be like occasional times whenever there would be any type of community similar to that so I would just say in my personal that was just my experience with the community so the community isn't very good in my experience rice so the two better they now offer two person room which it's like good because I guess the rooms are really big and now there's just like nobody wanting to live at the hill so they're giving out two bedroom rooms instead of three person rooms which is what I had to stay in but it's still so expensive like insanely like I don't understand why it's this expensive and I'll explain why I don't understand this in a minute but it's two person to a room is 3500 and three person to a room is 3300 this is again one of the priciest places to live on campus and it's because of the location so the location is right next to DeMoss Hall, which is where all the academic classes are, the tower, which is where the divinity classes are, and the rot, which is dining hall. And it's also close to the bookstore and the football field and like the welcome center and stuff like that. Like it's kind of a central campus. And I'd say that that is probably the only good thing about the hill that I can think of. It's not close to any of the other residential buildings, so you're pretty isolated from the other residential halls. You're close to the academic buildings, but you're far away from all the other residential halls, which is kind of isolating because if you don't have good community, you're going to want to try to find it on another hall. So I have a lot of people coming to my building, which I was in Commons too, and they were coming from like the Circle or the Quads or South Tower or whatever, and I would meet a lot of people like that, but I would like never ever see anybody in my dorm from the hill because that's like a 15 minute walk from commons too um especially I've, I've done it before because i used to all my friends were in commons one i would always walk over there and it's like 15 minutes to walk over there the location is good if you're trying to be close to the academic buildings but as far as like location in general i, I still would say it's pretty isolated because it's isolated from all the other residential buildings that was like about the cost location and community in addition to those things right now it's under insane construction and the only way i can describe what it looks like right now it looks like you're in like a South American like construction zone if you go to CFAW go check this out I won't be there but go check it out if you go to CFAW go the hill and if you don't believe me go look but it's like you have fences like in the middle so you just have to walk these like narrow fence ways into like the different dorms and then it has a tarp over top of it. There's overgrown grass all over because they can't cut the grass because of all the construction. And they are building new roofs and common areas. So probably be better in the next few years. I personally wouldn't risk it for next year. I think that's a little too soon. But in my community group class that I had to go to because I was a community group leader at Liberty, 
um, on leadership and at my group whenever we were asking like about the different dorms and what was happening on them people from the hill had mold problems they had multiple girls woken up with spider bites all over them because of like insects coming in because the roofs weren't totally secure and whenever it rained there would be leakage it was literally it sounds like the worst possible case scenario and it's super expensive and it's not close to any of the other dorms I personally would not risk it for next year and I feel really strong about this the reason I'm like explaining myself a lot right now is because a lot of people try to fight me on the hill because if they stayed there a few years back they would say oh my gosh it's the best community like go hill like yeah but like if you go now I've just heard not good things and I was there last year and I did not have a good experience so personally this is my number seven and that is just my opinion <laughs> so next on my list is South Tower and so South Tower is another it's one of the cheaper places to live on campus now we're getting into like the area where all residential dorms are so you have in the order that are far farthest away from the academic buildings you have South Tower the quads the circle commons two three and one I would say that South Tower is probably my number six just because of how far away it is from campus. As far as the community, I've only heard, heard good things about the community there. It's newly renovated, so I say that it's probably a good option as far as renovation and like community goes. I've heard only good things about the community there. As far as location goes, it is the farthest away from the academic buildings but it is close to all the other residential halls and it's close to really, really good parking because all the rest of us have to walk all the out, all the way out there to get to parking. For them, it's like right there. So they're right beside parking. So it works out really well for them. So as far as location, like in some ways it kind of sucks, but in other ways it would be fine because you have really good parking and you're right next to all the other residential dorms. And then for price, it is one of the cheapest places to live on campus. It's $2,900 a semester. So that makes it cheaper than the Hill and East already. That, I don't know a ton on, on South Tower, so I can't really speak about it, but from what I hear, it's pretty good. The only reason why I put it at six is just because it's the farthest away from all the academic buildings, which as a freshman, I feel like would kind of suck because most of your classes are going to be in DeMoss Hall. For me, it wouldn't really matter because I'm all, a lot of my classes are at North Campus so I have to drive anyways to get there but yeah I don't I haven't heard really anything not good about it it is the oldest on campus but it's newly renovated so that would be fine the next one I'm going to talk about is the quads and this is my number five because it's a step closer to campus again it probably wouldn't be the best place to live it's kind of apartment style just like east except for it's older and it's cheaper i believe yeah it's cheaper so it's 2900 for a two-person room again i feel like it would be better to do if you had a friend group established already so it's more like a sophomore junior thing to do but i think it would be better than east because it's where all the other residential dorms are from what i hear it's renovated and it's like it's, I've heard that it's really good community, even though it's apartment style. Because East, I've only heard bad things about the community there. But on at the quads, I've heard good things about the community there. So I feel like it'd be good if there's good community and you have a kitchen and you have a living room and like all this stuff, like plus good community. Plus it's a pretty good location too. It's right beside both parking lots that, that we have to park in. I don't think freshmen can park on campus, but I'm just like speaking for everybody. It would just like be cool to be that close to parking. Like if your friend had a car on campus or something like that, it's like close, a little bit closer than South Tower is to the academic buildings. So as far as community, I'd say good. Price, a lot cheaper than, a lot cheaper than East. I just feel like it would be a really good, like cool place to live. So I have only heard good things about it. So that's why it is my number five. So four, we're heading over to commons. A lot of people think that all three commons are the same and they're really not. And I would rank fourth commons three. So commons three, is very very nice it's two person to a room and so as far as price it's the exact same as the other commons they're all 2700 per semester so they're the most expensive places to live on campus so that's a, really one of the only downsides i have about all the commons the really only bad thing is the most expensive on campus they're 3700 per semester the location's really good because it's right next to the library and it's really close to vine center and all the academic buildings but it's also really close to all the residential dorms the location's really good the community is the only thing that varies based on what hall you're on it just depends because commons three is different than commons one and commons two because the guy common areas are separate than the girl common areas whereas commons one and commons two they're all the same common area 
and I don't really know why they did it this way. It's like kind of weird and I'm not sure why they did it this way. Guys can go in girls common areas, girls can go in guys common areas, but it's like two towers that are connected by one common area only on the first floor. And then the ground floor girls hall and guys hall don't even have a common area. So I just personally feel like it is the newest, it is like really nice and the rooms are bigger than commons one and commons two, but I just don't feel like it'd be, f like I wouldn't go over to the co guys common area if I didn't have a reason to, whereas like in my dorm you can like meet people however because you just like all go to the common area to just do homework or whatever but I wouldn't like go do my homework in the guys common area because I feel like that'd be like I don't know it's just like weird I don't know if it would be as good community and I haven't heard like the best things about the community on comments 3 like some halls have really good community but like overall I haven't heard like oh my gosh comments 3 I think as a whole like as a whole dorm they have pretty good community because they're all like oh the, the shoe like they call it the shoe and then they all go like the shoe I just don't feel like it would be as good of community as the other comments just because they don't have like the same common area for guys and girls and that like brings so much community because you just like all go out there but yeah that's why comments 3 would be my last one it's like really really nice but it just wouldn't be like at my top three I talked three starts with the circle and the circle is right in between the quads and commons two and the circle I've literally only heard good things about this is probably the best option if you don't want to get the most expensive one on campus so I think yeah I think it's the cheapest dorm to live at on campus it has only good community that I've ever heard of I've never heard bad things about the community it's three person to a room and has community bathrooms it's basically like the hill but in a better location with better community and cheaper so right beside the parking lot again it kind of doesn't really apply to freshmen but I'm just throwing that in there you're right beside commons too and the quad so even if you don't have good community on your hall you're so close to two other dorms that you can have community in I've only really heard good things about that the location is good because you're right near a bus stop and you can just like walk really easily as easily as it is to walk from commons to you can also walk to the academic buildings and it's also the cheapest place to live on campus it's 2300 per semester so personally if you wanted a cheaper option because in my personal opinion obviously as you can tell commons one and commons two are my top two for freshmen on campus but if you wanted a cheaper option i think the circle is just as good as commons one and commons two it just depends on if you want to do three person to a room or two person to a room but other than that it is definitely at my top three i think the circle would be a really fun place to live on campus so my top two are commons one and commons two and i don't really have like they're kind of both at the same level obviously i'm biased towards commons two because i lived there second semester freshman year and first semester sophomore year so i'm obviously like a little bit biased to commons two but i think that they're both really really good i've heard really good things about community on commons one all my friends lived in commons one amazing community it's great because like there's common areas in the middle and i feel like people don't realize how much that does until you experience it and it's like like on like snow days for example when we're all in our common area like snuggled up doing our homework like watching the game so obviously it kind of sucks to have to pay that much for a dorm but I don't have anything bad to say about about commons. I've only heard the best things about the community, except for like obviously it depends on what hall you're on because sometimes you're not gonna have a group of people that are always gonna want to be in the common area. But for the most part, I've heard the best things about the community. The location in both of them is good. The only difference is that commons one is closer to the academic buildings and it has Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins in it. So that's why in some ways I feel like commons one may be a little bit better, but I honestly think that they're both just as good. And like the community obviously, as I said, is really, really good best leadership I feel like on campus and so I would say the top three to stay in is commons one commons two in the circle those are my opinions on where freshmen should stay at Liberty I hope you guys like this video I hope it was helpful give it a thumbs up if it was let me know down below if you're going to Liberty in the fall I won't be there in the spring which I hate that I'm gonna be see fall I'll see you guys in my next video bye